What's going on YouTube? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to another edition of the Silver and Gold Stack Attack. As always, I appreciate you stopping by and checking out the video. We're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to step back into time to ancient China and Korea to find out exactly who Chi Wu Chun Wang was. As you know, or may or may not know, um, this is a five coin set that was issued by Comsco in South Korea celebrating the life and times and exploits of Chi Wu Chun Wang, who otherwise was known as the God of War. But there is a hotly contested debate going on between China and Korea as to his origins. What's up with that? Stay tuned, we'll find out. So who exactly was Chi Wu Chun Wang? Well, quite a bit is known, but he has a cloudy history at best. China and Korea to this day disagree on his origins and exploits. Uh, so we're going to take a look at what he means to each country, starting with China. China claims Chi Wu, or Chiao as he's known in China, to be the leader of the ancient Nine Li tribe and one of the three founding fathers of China. He was best known to be the tyrant who fought against the future Yellow Emperor during the Three Sovereigns and Five Emperors period in Chinese mythology, which ran through the 7th century AD. As a god king, he was reputed to have the ability to control the weather, which he used frequently to his advantage in battle. Chi Wu initially defeated the Yan Emperor in battle, forcing the Emperor to seek help from the Yellow Emperor. This began the Battle of Zulu, which lasted for about 10 years. Chi Wu breathed out a thick fog that obscured the sunlight, then a heavy storm. The Yellow Emperor called upon the demon Nuba, who blew away the storm clouds, clearing the battlefield. While Chi Wu and his armies were eventually defeated because of this, and the Yellow Emperor ordered Chi Wu to be executed by beheading. So what did Chi Wu mean to Korea? Well, according to recorded Korean history, Chi Wu, or Jia Zhe Huanung as he was known, was the 14th head of state of Xinxi, otherwise known as Badao. His numerous victories in battle earned him the name the God of War. In the Korean account of the Battle of Zolo, rather than being killed or defeated, Chi Wu was actually victorious and captured the Chinese Emperor alive. Korean lore also lists Chi Wu as an ancestral leader of Koreans in the old country of Jushin. Uh, that being said, many Chinese scholars have hotly disputed the Korean claims, attempting to debunk them over the years as false, and that goes back absolute centuries. So as you can see, Chi Wu's origins are extremely complex and disputed. All that being said though, he's still held in high regard and remains a figure of worship to this day. Moving on to the Chi Wu Chun Wang 1 out Silver Series. This set did come in other forms of bullion, but for right now we're going to focus on the five coin silver set. The set started in 2016 with the first issue, and it ran all the way through 2020 with the fifth and final issue. All medallions were issued by Comsco, which was established in 1951 as the sole manufacturer of Korean currency. Comsco is short for Korean Minting and Security Printing Corporation, and they're actually a government owned company that coins circulation, bullion coinage, they print banknotes and they also print official government documents to include passports. So a couple of notes about this set. Um, it's unique in the fact that it's issued in clay. The metals themselves aren't legal tender, but clay is a concept of measurement that indicates a certain amount of land. So therefore, the theory of purchasing one troy ounce of this silver product amounted to a certain amount of land. Obviously, you can't take your Chi Wu series to Korea and claim land, but that's the concept behind the clay. Each medallion is kind of a story that depicts Chi Wu from the start of the battle to the end, where he ends up victorious. Uh, the Chi Wu series pretty much chronicles the man whose real life became a thing of legends. He was an actual tribal leader in ancient China and a historical figure to those in early inhabitants of the Korean Peninsula, and he gained mythical status in the millennia following his death for his actions on the battlefield. So we're going to go over the story, a real quick synopsis of each coin, starting in 2016 with the first issue. Uh, preparing for battle. This is the first of five images to appear in the collection. And you can see Chi Wu in full military gear with a spear in his right hand and his shield in the other, uh, preparing to lead his troops into battle. If you look in the background, you can just about see the spearheads and banners from his forces. Uh, this coin was limited to a mintage of only 30,000. The second medallion from the series is from 2017, and it is the War Horse. You can see Chi Wu in his full armor and his mask with his shield and spear on top of his War Horse, getting ready to charge into battle. 
Uh, the minage on this one creeped up a little bit to 50,000. It's still a very limited coin when it comes down to it, but it is 20,000 more than the first one. The third medallion is from 2018, and it's rushing the enemy position. You can see Chiwu charging in a battle on top of his war horse with his massive sword drawn. And it's the first clear look at his facial features, which is pretty cool. Uh, this one was limited to a minage of 45,000, so it went down a little bit from the prior year. Uh, this one is actually my favorite in the entire series. You have to see this one in person to appreciate it. Um, even when you hold it in your hand, it looks like a 3D effect with the sword. It is an amazing, amazingly detailed medallion. The fourth medallion came out in 2019, and it's the calm after the battle. In this one, you can see Chiwu on a rocky hillside just surveying the now quiet battlefield. This is really the first image in the whole series that you can see his full face without the helmet on. Uh, Comscope lowered the minage of this one back down to 33,000, so quite a drop. Um, the entire series is really limited, but these 30 and 33,000, these are the ones that are going to be a little bit tougher to find and cost you a little bit more than the others. And medallion number five was issued in 2020, and this is the Gates of Hell. So the battle is long over, but a new danger emerges. An imposing gate has appeared within Chiwu's kingdom, and while it's chained shut, evil lurks just within, ready to burst through. Chiwu and the Twelve Guardians will have to fight to the end to defend the kingdom. What's behind the gate? Unfortunately, we never find out. The series ended here. Comsco limited this one to 33,000, so yet another really, really low mintage coin. That's going to be a great add to your collection. So we're going to take a quick look at the obverse side. They're all the same, with the exception of a couple of uh, changes in the later part of the series. Um, the obverse features Chiwu's shield, and what you see there is the terrifying face of the Dokibai, which was a mythical figure from Korean lore that had the power to protect from evil spirits. This figure was once so revered for its power that it hung an effigy in Korean homes as a form of protection against evil. Uh, the design is actually from a roof tile dating back to the Silla dynasty, which was a kingdom that ruled over southeastern Korea during the Three Kingdoms period which was from the 1st century B.C. to 7th century A.D. And speaking of Chiwu Shield, Comsco actually released a stacker version of it, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is a high-relief piece that features the mythical Dokibai, and it's easily stackable with the recessed reverse side. Each has a light antique finish to help hide imperfections and scratches from stacking. Also, they made uh, some, some capsules that were uh, able to fit them for protection. Each is going to be two troy ounces of 3 9 fine silver. These are actually really cool. And just in case you couldn't get enough Chiwu, well, Comsco was kind enough to issue a 15 ounce statue. Uh, this was issued in 2019 and limited to a really low run of 100. This sold out pretty quickly at the Korean Mint, probably almost instantly. Uh, this is 15 ounces of .925 silver and each had a COA number, weight, and fineness stamped on the bottom. It's perfect for fans of the series, but it's going to be a difficult and costly find if you can get one for sale. I personally would love to have this, but I'm not working out what it's going for. But still, very cool issue by Comsco. Alright, that is going to wrap up our video on Chi Wu Chun Wang. Hopefully you found that interesting. We're going to step back into the present right now. Uh, I alluded earlier in the video that there are some different uh, different types of bullion issued in this series. Obviously you have your one ounce silver which we just went over. You also have one ounce silver proofs, you have half ounce silver and you have ten ounce silver. That's a monster coin. Uh, in gold you have one ounce gold and you have one ten gold which is issued on I think four or five different colored assays uh, like plastic credit card size. Um, but that's about it. Look, I, I don't usually recommend too much to, to my viewers, but if you're into quality, quality bullion and quality details and attention to detail, I highly recommend you pick up this set. Um, Comsco knocked it out of the park. I mean, period, home run. This is an amazing set. Um, I'm only missing one. I need to get the, uh, the first one. I'm kind of keeping an eye on the prices to get it at a decent price, but it's not succeeding lately uh, even with the price of silver dropping down the last few days but yeah definitely a quality product coming out of South Korea by far and you don't see that milk spotting either coming off of these coins um, so good stuff good stuff highly recommended um, so that's it that's gonna wrap it up I appreciate you watching the video 
Um, as always, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you're collecting this series or which ones you have out of the series or if you have them all. Um, would love to hear your thoughts on it and uh, what you think about them. But other than that, you guys have a great, great week ahead. I'll catch you next time on the Silver and Gold Stack Attack. Peace!